Hello everyone, this is Shonko and welcome to chapter 3 of the Microservices with Spring Boot tutorial. So in this tutorial, in this chapter, I'm going to continue talking about microservices and specifically I'm going to talk about uh, service discovery and registry server in a microservices environment. And we're going to try to understand why we need a service discovery or a registry server in the first place and how it works. Right. So let's suppose we have uh, we have this API called product service and this is a client facing API so the clients can access this uh, API directly so they won't directly be accessing this API in a typical uh, microservices environment they would ideally be uh, using an API gateway to talk to this API but just for the sake of the demo I have just shown that the client is directly trying to access this API uh, which is known as product service rate. So we can see we have multiple instances of this API running at uh, a certain uh, point in time. So we, we have uh, the instances running on different ports. And in a typical microservices environment, we can expect the number of instances to go up and down, which is called auto scaling uh, based on the demand of the service. And that is very common in a microservices environment. And let's suppose this product service uh, API internally needs to talk to the location service API. So the location service API is not a client facing uh, API. And this is uh, supposed to be used internally inside the microservices uh, ecosystem. And uh, this API uh, one or product service is going to call this uh, location service API and uh, orchestrate or uh, combine the results of the two and present the combined result to the client right so again location 2 can have multiple instances running at a given point in time and can be auto scaled can be scaled up and down and we can have multiple instances running on different ports at a given point in time so if we are trying to call location service from product service using a hard-coded URL say we are trying to call this uh, location service using the first URL which is abc.xyz.com colon 1990 right so we can call only one instance of it and at a given point in time at a later point in time we might not even have this instance running anymore if there's no requ requirement or if there's no need of uh, so many instances of location service the auto scaling component may kill this uh, service or may kill this instance of location service and we might not even have the locations of, uh, service running on this whole host and port right so so since we have multiple instances of the of the api running and they're running on different ports so it becomes difficult to hard port the url while calling this service from another service Right, and again, we would need to take into account the load balancing factor while trying to call uh, another service inside our microservices ecosystem. So we have four different instances now. We won't ideally want all our requests to go to the first instance or any specific instance, and we would ideally want uh, the requests to be evenly spread or load balanced across the various available instances of our API two or a location service uh, API right so that is when we need a, a system a service discovery that is when we use a service discovery or a registry server so when we create an API or when we create uh, any component inside our microservices ecosystem we would ideally want it to be registered with a registry server or a discovery server and when we are trying to communicate with another component be it an API trying to call another API or be it the configuration server uh, be it a, a configuration server that an API is trying to connect to we would ideally do that choosing the service discovery uh, or the registry server so what will happen is this product service won't directly call the location service using a URL it would rather go to the location service or it would rather call the location service through or via service discovery or uh, the registry server 
so what we do is we register both product service and location service with the service discovery or registry server and the service discovery or the registry server would have a list of all the instances of all the all the apis that we have registered with the registry server so it would have a list of all these instances of product service it would have a list of all these instances of location service registered with itself and as we auto scale as we kill a particular instance of an api or as we create a new instance of an api that also gets registered or deregistered from the registry server right and when we are trying to call this api location service uh, from this api product service we would go to the service discovery and the service discovery would choose an instance out of all the available instances of location service and call that particular instance and get the result for us and we would combine the result in product service and present that combined result to the client right so we are not calling a specific instance from our api when we are trying to connect to another api we are rather trying to call the discovery server and the discovery server would decide which instance of uh, the other api should be called and it would call the other api uh, the instance of the other api and it would get the result for us and we'll manipulate the result as we need in our api right so that is a uh, that is a time when we need a service discovery or a registry server and in a later in, in our next chapter i'm going to take a look at how we can create a discovery server and we're going to create an api we, we are actually going to create two apis and we're going to call one api from another api using the discovery server or using the service registry right so that is all for this chapter and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did enjoy please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for chapter four thanks for watching